Rob and Slim Show. Is this Rob? This is Rob and Slim is over there. What's going on? How you doing, guys? Long time no speak. I know. Actor, writer, and producer from Ontario, Tony DeSantis. How have you been, Tony? Not bad. Not bad coping with all this crazy uh, COVID crap. Are, yeah. Are but, you guys uh, reopening up there? Because we've finally started that down here. Yeah, we finally started uh, Friday, actually. Just uh, patio dining, not inside restaurants and oh. stuff, you know. But oh, wow. the store has opened up again, so that's great. Cool. And uh, have you been vaccinated, Tony? I got my first shot. I was getting my second shot uh, July 12th, so I'm happy about that. Awesome. Very good. Did you guys get your shots? I I'm did. I'm not talking jello. <laughs> <laughs> I had, yeah, I had the vaccine. Some, I, think I it's didn't get waiting. it yet, yeah. He's, I don't know. I'll, I'll get it eventually. He's waiting to see if I die, Tony. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys wearing masks, at least? And not I, just Batman and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Trump mask. <laughs> um, Slim wears it, right? Yeah, I still like, wear a mask. I, if yeah, I absolutely. wasn't vaccinated, I'd still be wearing it. But I'm not wearing it because I'm vaccinated, and I'm better better than Slim. Yeah. But I, I, I guarantee, like I know, fifty percent of the people you see not wear a mask are probably not vaccinated. Like I feel like right, some people right. are. I also, I, I don't I know. Thinking, I was thinking about that the other day when. Uh, when uh, holdups happen at a bank now, what do what do people tell the cops? Right. Well, he was wearing a mask. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> so was everybody else. Um, everybody else. I, I've noticed that my store, like the people who were like stealing and stuff, uh, tended to be the anti-maskers all throughout the pandemic. We that was like a trend we saw. Yeah. So like they were the ones. It's like, been, what's that? It's been. It's weird let me i mean so many people are still you know all uh, worried about um uh you know it being a, a hoax or it being a, a government uh, plot that they're injecting you with like these little uh Yes. Uh, what do you what do you call them? Uh, nanobots or something? Nanobots. Uh no microchips. I think I said nanobots <laughs> last week, but yeah, microchips. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, pretty far fetched, but uh I guess, you know, they can track us on our phones if they want. Phones. Yeah, like just get there's, the damn There's shots. people making videos online where they're like, oh, I got the vaccine, and they're sticking magnets to their arm, and obviously it's fake, <laughs> but they're they're going that far to be like, look, <laughs> oh. uh, my arm's magnetic now. Wow. I, I had a guy recently tell me he got the vaccine and his arm is magnetic. He wouldn't show me, but he was just like, yeah, it's magnetic. Oh, he just... <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. But, I mean, uh, I think it was, it was probably good. A lot of people uh, started spending more time with their kids, and uh, I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. It could go either way. I, I, did, yeah. I loved at the beginning, though, when like everything shut down. It showed like uh, yeah. rivers that had, had been dirty for years yeah. like, finally like, yeah. were clean <laughs> because there's no pollution yeah. going on. It was, it was exactly. a nice break, exactly. I feel. <laughs> oh, how was, have you been doing, Tony? Have you, are you still doing boom bats? I'm I'm waiting on uh, one um, grant that we applied for. Everybody else has been turning us down, of course. What? But uh, we're we're still not giving up. We're, we're going to try it for season two. I'm. I think I I told you when we last spoke that um, as a, as a kind of a, a sidebar, we we started doing these little videos, and uh, it really took off on TikTok. Like the yes. last one that I put up there uh, Monday night has got about 12,000 views, and it's just the Nona character from Boom Bats. That's awesome. And sometimes it's with the boys, sometimes it's just her, and I've also been doing movie parodies where I do scenes from famous movies, but I put Nona in them, you know? Yes. Like the Godfather. Yeah. And those are the ones that have been taken off. They've been pretty successful. So That's awesome. just trying to keep uh, her, her, uh, her name sort of uh, out there and... Uh, you know, get created, keep the buzz uh, going, create a, a fan base. You know, that's 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 probably what you know. The best thing that'll work in our favor is if we can get a, a huge following and then go to these people and say, "Well, look, we've got an audience now, so fork over some uh, cashola." You know, yeah, that's a great platform to to, to do the Nona character on too. I feel TikTok is perfect for that. Yeah, like little segments. They're, and stuff. they're short. They're all under a minute, and uh, I mean, we've been uploading about two a week and uh i think we've gotten over i think 
I'm, I'm, I'm without a lie. I think we've almost hit about a half a million views already. You know, well, maybe nice. not just TikTok, but I'm talking YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Plus, but TikTok is we've gotten at least uh, about four hundred thousand on, on our That's own. Awesome. You know, just on that That's, platform. That's awesome, dude. And how yeah. is Nona? Is so she... People are responding. They're they're enjoying the humor and uh, they love the character. So yes. A lot of people have said, you know, when's Boombots uh, 2 coming out, you know, so we're, there, there's the demand, it's just, uh, we got to find a way to, to do the damn thing, you know? Yeah, and it's won a lot of awards, correct? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we picked up quite a few awards at film festivals and, uh, uh, you know, web series festivals, so, oh, sorry, that's a call coming in, but oh. nobody, nobody more important than you. Ah, th <laughs> nobody more important than you, Tony. That's all I That's know. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, everybody's getting anxious. The boys are, are itching to go, you know. I mean, everything's yeah. all set. The scripts are written, oh. so we just have to... We should find out probably uh, in two weeks about this last one that we applied for. And if that doesn't happen, then... Uh, then we got to go to Plan B or something, you know. I don't know. I could always take a picture of someone's credit card. He leaves it laying out sometimes. Yeah. So that could be a... Sure. That could be what's, a what's his limit? <laughs> I like seventeen hundred somewhere Ooh, around that. So I don't know what you could do with that. That's an episode at least. That's probably I'm like close to what like Kevin Smith spent on Clerks. Ah, somewhere yeah. around that. I feel like we can get an episode out of that. <laughs> we can squeeze it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys been watching the uh, playoff hockey? My old uh, my old Habs are in there. I do not watch the hockey, and I don't think so much as sports. No, we're not sports guys. Sorry, Tone. <laughs> what about soccer, the uh, Euro Cup, no? Still a sport. Because <laughs> Nona's been all over that. Nona's into the sports? I w is she around? Can we speak to her? Well, you know what? Today Italy played Switzerland and they won 3 nothing. so oh. Nona's been partying it up and she's passed out on the couch again. <sighs> okay. But uh, I'm, maybe if she wakes up before we're done, yeah. we'll see, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's got to be big if, if you're Italian and, and like the soccer. Oh, man, they're crazy here, you know? Like, <laughs> Little Italy just goes goes absolutely bananas. It's like <clears throat> parades and party in the streets, you know, COVID or no COVID. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I feel like that's that's the real the real test yeah. is, is sports, sporting events. Well, as, uh, have they all resumed up, up there? Uh, well, not the, uh, there, I mean, in Montreal, they started letting in about 2,500 fans to watch the games, but in the States, they're, they've gone full, uh, yeah. full, uh, full bore, man. Like, uh, Vegas, they've got 18,000, like all the stadiums are packed in the States. I know Yankee they, Stadium just, did like, uh, vaccinated and non-vaccinated section. I know cool. they did that. I think a lot of them have done that. You think that's what they're doing? I didn't really know that. I think at first. I, I don't know if they're still. I did hear that, yeah. I, I did see a clip, too, of because uh, I guess before the pandemic, uh, I think it was the Cubs. I, I can't remember what team, but the fans were, like, putting together, like, their empty beer cups as, like, snakes. Cup snakes or whatever it is. And uh, really? now, I guess after the pandemic, they have guys that come around and just confiscate confiscate the cup snakes because <laughs> i, I <laughs> guess steak for you i guess they, they're not allowed to they frown upon the cup <laughs> snakes <laughs> i guess yeah but whatever whatever i'm doing for father's day <laughs> what's that tony what are you guys doing for father's day uh, i got my dad well, a couple cards it's more for you i guess yeah i don't know i'll probably face down my sons because they're usually up here by now but this yeah. year they wanted to go to a camp by their mom's house, okay. so I'm getting them the end of June. So I'll, I'll probably just Facetime them. So that that'll be cool, though. I do. I Facetime them right. every week to begin with, anyway. So it, it'll just be cool. That, yeah. um, Thank God for I made eh? during this whole uh, pandemic. That's uh, that's the only way people were communicating. You know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and Slim, I don't know if Slim even has a father, Tony. No, I do. I'm oh, gonna, he does. My, my father's in Georgia, though. So oh, gonna, the uh, devil him, went down to Georgia. Give him a call. Oh, you do? Yeah. Give him a call, yeah? Yeah. Okay. No card? No card, just uh, a call. <laughs> oh, man. My voice is enough for him. <laughs> you didn't slip like 10 bucks in a card or something? Nah, no? he's... He's, he works oh. for, like, HP. He's got enough money. I, I, I know sometimes my family watches, and I hope nobody spoils it, but I got my dad a hat. So I got him a hat this year. Oh, cool. Huh? What, what kind of hat? 
None of your business. I don't oh, know come on. I want to know more about that. <laughs> it's the best something hat. Mm. The best something ever hat. Hats are better than ties and socks. Yeah. My dad's not a real tie. Tie wearer. He does wear socks, I think. Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's his health? Cause, uh, He's good. Years ago, he was uh, in oh, rough shape there. Yes, that's right, Tony. The, the accident he had, that was real, real scary. But yeah, he's doing great. He's like totally back great. to normal, man. He's still kicking ass. Is he still and riding still the motorcycle? He does. There. He, um, ever since that accident, he only he doesn't ride after it gets dark anymore. Because that happened that's at cool. night, so yeah. he only rides during the day. Right. But that's okay. that's the one thing he loves. You know, we got video games, we got computers, and, and my dad, that's the one thing he loves, so. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, what, uh, have you been uh, doing any other acting, Tony? Well, you know what, just before the COVID hit, I was in Montreal doing a, a play. A friend of mine wrote a very funny play called The Glam Mothers, and it premiered in uh, in Montreal sold out audiences every night it was great i mean i i uh i didn't know what to expect you know because uh we had we had such a short rehearsal time but uh it was great because the character i played was a kind of a goofball sort of like a kramer on seinfeld and he falls in love with this gorgeous uh, uh sort of cougar uh lady who uh who uh, that's why they call the grandmothers it's their their grandmothers but they still like look after themselves, you know, physically, and they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty amazing looking. And uh, so my character sort of has the hots for this, this girl, this lady who's divorced. And I'll tell you, I didn't really have to act that much in the play. It came pretty naturally. Nice. No acting required. <laughs> I feel like some could get into that. Her, I felt for her hard, boys. <laughs> oh, man. But the pandemic tore us apart. What, is it going to be back, though, Tony, once no, I, everything... Easy Actually, enough. reality tore us apart. She knew I was married, and it was like, oh, yeah. forget about it. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to be back, though, the play? Yeah, actually, he's, uh, he, he wrote a, uh, he adapted it into a screenplay. We did a, uh, a Zoom uh, reading uh, back in, uh, God, I'm trying to remember, I think it was back in the spring. And uh, so he's got a producer on board. They're going to try and shoot a, a feature of it. It'll nice. be uh, low-budget. Uh, I mean, it'll be a, a nice kind of film, you know, a little uh, little love story, and uh, and he wants to remount the play again next. Uh, I believe it's next January in Montreal, and then sort of uh, tour it maybe in Toronto, maybe somewhere else out, you know, in uh, Western Canada. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of good stuff happening for that, and uh, it's a great role. The cast was fabulous. Uh, we had a blast doing it, and um, I really hope it takes off, you know. Yes, me too. And I wanted to ask you just off of that, um, how different is acting on stage live compared to acting uh, on a camera uh, set? Well, I, I was talking about this to somebody, uh, I think, when we started rehearsals. The, the beauty of a stage performance is that you're in total control. You're, uh, nobody can touch your performance, whereas in film, you may do a, a kick-ass you know, a performance, and then the editor gets a hold of it, and the director, instead of putting the camera, on, or not the camera, but instead of putting a shot of you on, on your dialogue, he'll, he'll you know, switch to a shot of the, uh, the star of the movie. So, so you hear your, your voice off camera, but you're not a, on camera. So, that, you know, you, you, you lose total control of the performance, you know, like, especially if you're in a big budget movie. Yeah. Because they're not going to spend a lot of screen time on, on a nobody. They'll put it on somebody who's, you know, one of the stars. So, but in, in theater, it's great because from the minute you walk on stage, man, you can do anything, you know. <laughs> I mean, and some actors have uh, been been pretty bold in what they've done you know but uh, it's great you, you have total control and uh, only afterwards can can they sort of come up to you and say you know you shouldn't have done that or you know if you do that again you're going to be fired <laughs> well, I know stories of some actors who've just done some pretty crazy stuff you know so <laughs> wow. but, uh, That's it, awesome. it, it is more of the actor's uh uh, you know, control. That's that's the best way to put it. You know, there's there's nobody else. The director can only 
give you notes during rehearsal, but once the show opens, that's it. You know, you're you're on your own. Yeah, he's he's done his work. You know, so he's not there anymore. Got has, has but, uh, have you ever seen anybody like totally fall apart doing a live per- performance? Have I seen anybody totally fall apart? Yeah, where you had to like step in and like, like laugh. You mean laughing or, or or what? Or just totally like bomb, totally fail. Uh, I've seen a few people fail, like if they've forgotten lines and stuff. But on this show, the uh, Glammothers, there were a few nights where myself and the the lead actor who also wrote the play, uh, his, his name is Tony Calabretta. He would uh, start cracking up, and then I would start cracking up, and then the audience would just go ballistic. That's start cool losing too. it. Yeah, it was that's like the Cal awesome. show. I don't know if you remember those those TV shows where the actors would start cr- cracking up on on yeah. set, and then the rest of the audience just, you know, they they love that stuff. You know, when you sort of break character and yeah, that's. I mean, awesome. you can't do it every night, but if it comes naturally and uh, and it's sincere, then the audience is always on your side. They they love that stuff. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I wouldn't encourage it by any stretch, but <laughs> yeah. but uh, it's always fun to see. You know, it's like watching bloopers. Uh, on on famous shows, you know, yeah. I love to see the actors crack up it's or cool try too. and crack each other up. Yeah, it's cool too watching it live. Like that's why I feel like yeah. our live show it, people enjoy that for that that kind of a reason. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Tony, were you in were you in RoboCop? Uh, I was not in the movie. I was in the TV show. Okay, uh, I couldn't tell. They, I don't know if remember, they did a series of it. Uh, I think it ran for about two years. And it's funny, I actually auditioned for the the RoboCop character, but I, I think I was, it was so funny because you had to be a certain size because they already had the suit made. Oh, so that's no. not cool. Yeah, yeah no. They, you should pick the actor uh, first yes. and then make the suit. I was actually too tall, so I couldn't, uh, I found out later that the guy who got it was just short the right height to, to fit the suit. Did it. You know? You it could have been like a crop top on you. I would have. I would have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> a I'll sexy RoboCop. Right? I'm showing that midriff. I'm, yeah. I'm RoboCop for the, the 20, 20, 20s. No, you don't want to see my midriff. 20, 20. <laughs> I, I turned 65 this year, and my whole my body's just gone to shit. <laughs> Man, my, my I'm... Six pack, my six-pack has become this, like, uh, you know, blobby, sort of, like, 24-pack, you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, what about you, Slim? What do you got, packs? No, and I got a gut. I got a gut. I used to have like an eight pack I back don't in got the a day. Pack. But, did, you yeah. never did. No, nah, it was probably like a four. <laughs> two, I don't know. Two pack. Four pack. Two pack. I do. I, I'd kill for a four pack. <laughs> right? <laughs> nah, it's just a beer gut now. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Well, welcome to the club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a point, like. <laughs> Like, I, I, I'm i 33 now, and I'm kind of like, ah, I don't need to work out ever. No, I'm fine. I'm don't. comfortable with myself. I think they <laughs> recommend you don't work out after that age. The doctors are like, that's not good for your body anymore. Yeah. You don't need that. We have two things in common. You're 33, and I'm 33 waist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that bigger than your height, though, Tony? You don't want to get to that point where the waist is bigger than your No, your, okay. no exactly. All right, yeah, yeah. You're just... You're 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 an appliance at that point. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. No. You never want to go wider than you are taller. That's all. Is I'm... that my agent calling on the other line? <laughs> tell her. Tell her uh, I'm ready for uh, for uh, my next my next close up, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I want to ask you too, Tony. You've been acting for a long time. What is one of your favorite memories ever? Um. I think it, it goes back to uh, this uh, series that I did. It was a pre-Sopranos series. It was shot in Montreal, and it was called Omerta. Yes. And it was all about uh, the Montreal mob. And it's so funny how after I watched um, The Sopranos, so many of the storylines paralleled the series that I did in Montreal. You know, it was almost like... I mean, not that David Chase would have seen the the Montreal version, but it's almost like him and the the writer who did Omerta were thinking the same storylines, you know? Wow. And, uh, yeah, I think that was the highlight of my career because uh, uh, it was just so weird when I went back to Montreal after the uh, show aired. 
Uh, I was getting stopped on the street and the restaurants. Uh, everywhere I went, uh, people kept coming up to me, and uh, it was just a weird sensation. There was, like, no privacy anymore, you know? That's awesome. It, um, I guess it's what what the uh, stars in L.A. must go through on a regular basis. That's, but, uh, yeah. It was a neat experience, I think. Uh, I think it's what every actor secretly... Uh, craves and desires as much as they say, oh, I don't want to be famous. Oh, I do. That's a, that's a load of crap. I want I to just be noticed once. I want just that want... game, you know, even yeah. if it's just for uh, 15 minutes or whatever. Yes. Yeah, I would just love I mean, somebody to recognize me. to pay, but uh, <laughs> I think it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. I mean, it's, you, yeah. you, can't, uh, you can't imagine what it's like, you know. I mean, not, not, not the kind where you're being chased down the street and stuff. Right. I mean, that's not... That's not comfortable or enjoyable, but uh, yeah. when people actually stop and appreciate and tell you how much they appreciate, you know what you're doing and stuff. That's always rewarding and uh, what actors secretly sort of uh, want to hear, you know. Yeah, and I wanted to ask too. Uh, you said that was in Montreal. Was it was was that in French? Yeah, it was in French. Uh, we uh, I think we dubbed it in English as well, but that didn't do well. Uh, they they tried to air it in you know, other parts of uh, Canada, but it didn't really, it, it just lost a lot of its uh, grittiness, you know, when when yeah. you translate it. It, it just, the, uh, the the real essence and the soul of the series just sort of like, I don't know, wow. it, it got lost in translation, so to speak, you know. What was your first language? Was, was it French or uh, English? When I, when I was a kid, my first language was Italian, I think, when my grandmother was still alive, wow. and then after she passed away, I went to school, English school, and uh, I, I, English became my first language, and French, because I grew up in a French neighborhood, so all the other kids in, in, in my neighborhood spoke French, and I got beat up a lot by these kids, so I learned how to speak French quickly, you know? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I only know the curse words in Italian. I was going to ask Tony if he know. knows any good like French like slang. I know mierde. Any any good French what slang slang or words, curse yeah, words. words yeah oh yeah I know them all I mean I could I could probably write a book about them what's the what's the most insulting what's the most insulting thing you can say to a man in in, uh, in French I know you can't call someone a frog right that's a bad <laughs> one well yeah they 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 don't really get upset about that anymore you know it's sort of passe okay uh, yeah. I think if you steal a, a Frenchman's beer, he'd probably get more upset than anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You're laughing, but it's true. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's uh, well, any man. Any like, man more more upset than if you called him a pussy? He would be more upset that you stole his beer? <laughs> that's the one word I don't know in French. <laughs> <laughs> Pusa. Pusa. A pusa. <laughs> no, that might be Italian. I don't even know. <laughs> By Italian, it's a, uh, what is it, a, um, uh, oh, God, I just had it. Now it's gone. Pukyak. Pukyak. I, I didn't know that one. I like that one. Yeah, P- <laughs> Pukyak is uh, Italian. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Just don't use that one too often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for talking to us, Tony. It's always a blast. It's been a pleasure. It's always nice catching up with you boys. Uh, I want Absolutely. you to stay healthy, stay safe, and have a great summer. You too, my Me friend. Too, Where can everybody find you? Uh, well, the latest TikToks, uh, my account is at Nona Knows, and that's N-O-S-E as in schnoz, Nona Knows, and that's on TikTok. And she's also got a YouTube channel, and all, all of her videos are up there. They're all under a minute long. I think uh, they'll enjoy them and have a great time. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for boom bots. You know, I mean, I uh, should yeah. find out in a few weeks whether we get a green light or not. Absolutely. All the but best, Tony. Us. What's that? Yeah. Nothing's going to stop us. We'll keep going. Good. Awesome. Good to hear you, Awesome, Tony. man. I can't wait to see the second season. Yeah, same here. <laughs> All right, Tony. Take care. Have a great summer, my friend. Hey, you too, man. Take care. All the best. You too. Yeah. We'll talk soon. All right. Ciao, ciao. See ya.